Welcome back um, to Minecraft Java Edition. This is Cape Sword, and uh, I've decided to do a little Let's Play a, uh, in the Nether update, one of my favorite version of Minecraft, by the way. And uh, I'd like to play through this and uh, just get better at Minecraft. Try to get as far as I can. So with that in mind, I'm just going to get forward here. Uh, difficulty. And we will name this place There we go. And this shouldn't take too long to get started. Uh, this is the part of world creation that uh, is a little bit slow. Takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> this world's a little bit unusual in that uh, it doesn't start you in this, the direct vicinity of uh, zero x zero. It's a few hundred blocks away from that, that the world spawn exists, which is odd. Not that big of a difference, but still, it's a quirk. And the world is generating away. If you're wondering what the seed I used was, I'm keeping that to myself for now. Another thing I'd like to do uh, with this Let's Play is get myself up to 100 subscribers. So, I'm going to keep at, at it with that in mind. Get things uh, good and started. The goal that is uh, a little bit more in reach for someone and who's uh, currently small. And here we go. Almost there. And now we've started. All right, perfect. So with that in mind, 
Uh, do not like the horse snorting that way, but it'll snort the way it likes to. So I can't worry about that. Instead, my focus is on cutting down trees. And of course, getting that command going as the CH toggle is very important to my plans. Just get enough of these trees cut. It's a bit of a procedure without an axe, but that's okay. It's going to get done. And I guess I can do this one too. this since cutting down these trees is taking more time than I wanted to I'm going to make something to cause it to take less time So uh, I set that there to make my axe. And there, pickaxe, that should be good enough for the moment. quick now. Yeah. As I expected. A lot quicker. Hmm. Now, let me see. Ah, oh, there's a spot where I can gather some stone. Relative peace. This way. Hmm.
Alright, now. That block breaking sounded way too loud for me. Because I'm wearing a headset, it sounded like an explosion. Well, that'll uh, get you up in the morning, that's for sure. I'd much rather a cup of coffee than that, but still. Here's the quarry spot, so let me see. Just need to go right here. Make a stone pickaxe. Make a furnace. There we go. <laughs> okay, cows. I'll need you to step aside. Hope nothing sneaks up on me. I'm using uh, MJ's raw ores to make uh, raw ores appear instead of uh, the blocks. It uh, it's handy. All right. So, or no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Okay, cows. Okay, I need shears right away because I need wool for a bed from sheep. So I will be back in shortly, cows. Now, where are some sheep? That's the That's the million wool question. Cuz if I don't find them fast, I'm in trouble. Sheep, sheep, where are you? There you are, perfect. That takes care of the night. 
And the rain on top of that. The, the rain was a bonus. Okay, so the spot I'm looking for is this way. Yeah, these coordinates help keep me from uh, getting myself into more trouble than uh, I want to be in. Okay, let's see how we did with the iron. Not bad. Mm -hmm. There we go. Next thing I need is a bucket. Okay, bucket acquired, and then after the bucket, after the bucket, I need a hopper. Okay, and the game decides to lock up. Perfect. It's one of the uh, things a gamer has to deal with. Lag. Mm. Anyway. Nobody likes dealing with lag. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Alright. Excuse you. Alright. Okay, we're done here. Now, I need a little bit more iron. Easiest place to get that is... Let me see now. So it'd be more like this way. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, something like that. Keep going in this general direction. I can't miss it. Yep, here it is. Now this area is good for a little bit more lava, or iron I should say. I just need... to put a bit of a buffer around the iron. And really hope there's no lava below there. And we're good. That's taken care of. I will need that lava later. But uh, the next step be to go to uh, 
36, 64, 240. I will use this instead. Oh. I'm in the mood for a nice blue bed. There we go. So it's right around here-ish. This is where I spawned in. So with that in mind, I'm going to go up on top here. And work on getting myself a little more established in this location. And for that, I'm going to need some more stone. I'm thinking I'll just grab some. Quite a bit of stone to gather here. I need all of it. But Cape Sword, what could you possibly need that much stone for? Lots of things. Generally, in Minecraft, when uh, you want to have any kind of plans, you need to gather resources. So... Because anything you want to get done in Minecraft is going to cost you resources. And that can add up to quite a bit. So, whenever you can get something on a renewable basis, the general advice is to get it renewable. Actually, I'm going to leave that blocked off. All right. Just so nothing gets any funny ideas. Paranoid? Probably. Yeah. I don't... I don't, uh... Deny that. Uh, but it's... It's kind of where I am at as a Minecraft player these days. I am not the bravest player at this. Uh, 
Ay. Fear is definitely a factor with me. So I have to be careful to, to not stress myself out. And that means having beds ready to stop the night from even happening. Because uh, part of that fear is my skill level. If I was comfortable fighting mobs, I'd be less afraid. But the fact remains that they do have the better of me at this time. So that means I have to plan around them. Okay, so where Okay, so two forties this way. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So this is roughly the location I was thinking of building up my base around. So with that in mind, I should get a plan started. Now, for this, I'm going to need a better axe. And if I want a better axe, I'm going to need sticks. just need to gather some materials here. I don't much care for this wood type, so given that I need fuel, and wood for making stuff, I may as well use the stuff I don't really want around. Alright. Okay. And I do collect the saplings because you never know. A project may come up where I'll need uh, saplings uh, from uh, birch trees. Might not sound terribly likely, but I found uh, that there are certain wood types uh, in the palette uh, that uh, I don't ordinarily use that do come up in build projects. And given that uh, birch is the only way to get a nice yellow, I will probably use it down the road. So, having the saplings will help. And gather up a little 
bit more of this. All right. There we go. I'd say... I'd say that's a pretty good uh, supply there. Now, if I head back over... All right, so back here... Hmm. There we go. Now. Uh, okay. Now I've got the uh, fuel source. Okay, that should be perfect. All right, I will toss these in and start cooking for fuel. So what I'm going to do is basically bake stone in order uh, to uh, get it set up uh, for uh, my cobblestone generator because my cobblestone generator will be uh, will be the source of uh, my uh, building projects in this world now uh, in the meantime uh, this is uh, the end of uh, my video for today so uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and uh, spread the word. I'm looking for more subscribers. Once again, this is Cape Sword, and uh, you have yourself a great day. Bye. Hi gamers, it's Cape here again at the website of Tanuki Yuki, the VTuber from Twitch I've been promoting in my videos. Now, if you've seen some of her content, you might not have heard about her shop and artwork. She draws and dra rigs live 2D models for content creators at reasonable prices. But don't just take my word for it about how awesome her art is. Let me show you some examples. This is Yuki's VTuber and Tanuki form. She also drew Akira's adorable Draconic cat and the equally adorable Seri Entity. I loved her update to Skelly Jelly and to Cosmo Wivarius and his Galaxy Wolf. Zephyr930 looks awesome, as does uh, Grumlerkin, Tiffy Kitten, and Savage Bear. Malachia Papilia is very cute, and Akira's human form is very noble. Speaking of which, the overall theme I feel from these VTubers is that Yuki brings out the best of them. I haven't met all of these people, but I get along well with those I have. And this is a club I'm delighted to join. That's right, I'm not just a fan. I intend to be a client, and sooner than you think. <laughs>